I saw you recently popped up in the last couple of hours, a very interesting piece with Carl Shepard. Yeah, um, I was actually quite a bit out of the blue. I, I, I went down to... Um, Who is Carl Shepard, Johnny? Carl Shepard was, was with Everton, and Sean Connor uh, signed him for Galway United. Um, Sean Connor would, would have a reputation for being one of the more eccentric managers in the League of Ireland, but he had a great eye for a player. Mm. He signed Stephen O'Donnell at Galway United, he signed Carl Shepard, um, signed some good players, um, but Carl Shepard then moved on to Shamrock Rovers, would have played in that European run, that kind of seminal European run, and then uh, signed for Cork City. And um, with Stephen Dooley, who signed for Rochdale, and Sean Maguire, who's obviously now what I believe to be Preston's highest paid player, um, I think with his new deal, I think that's, I mean, that's what I understand anyway. Shepard was one of the three strikers that made that front three irresistible when they went like I think they won their first 20 games or something last season and he really fitted into that role of right of the tree um, and then towards the end of the season Cork started to play quite badly and he wasn't playing that great either and he started the season poorly I think he scored in March and then didn't score again and um, he scored twice against Derry the other night and I was coming out of the ground and I just ended up talking to him because we have a mutual friend and um, he said yeah I've been, I've been struggling with arthritis and arthritis always makes me think of like you know someone old basically, yeah, yeah. Um, and then psoriasis as well. Which even though I've 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 a friend who has psoriasis actually as well. Again, it's you think of somebody old. So um, he found this out, and um, basically it is treatable. But um, he has to, he may be on injections possibly for the rest of his life. Mm. But he said I was in so much pain just everyday life, and I was getting really moany and. John Caulfield thought it was that he was driving a lot between Galway and Dublin. Um, but so initially they thought it was muscular. Yeah. But then it carried over from the summer. And yeah. So the, the medical team realised that can't be muscular. There has to be something underlying. Yeah. Um, but he was really, really good on Monday night. And I, I thought he was... I put up a... It's on the League of Ireland.ie website, but I put up a tweet about it and somebody sort of quoted the tweet and said, I'm, I'm glad that um, somebody's spoken about this as somebody who suffers from um, the same... Um, ailment and it was it was a girl might be a Cork City fan and um, I just admired him and he was very candid and uh, it's just a good story you know yeah. you know I, I it's, it's it would have been sad if a fellow who was 26 or 7 had to have such an ephemeral career because I think he's one of the most underrated players in the league if I were a League of Ireland manager he'd be one of the first players that signed his attitude is right. top top class and he when he plays in Europe he doesn't look out of place at all and um, he was just he was very honest where can people check out the interview it's on the uh, League of Ireland.ie website, um, and uh, just if you even look look me up on Twitter, you'll find a, okay. a quick link to it. Not not Johnny Ward. That was in Love Hate, obviously the other the other Johnny Ward. Ward. You, yeah.